Hey guys, just wanted to go over a couple verses from uh, 1 Timothy. He's kind of carrying on from the video that I did yesterday after verse 6. Uh, the verses that I wanted to read was uh, verse 7 through 10. So this is 1 Timothy chapter 6, verses 7 through 10. I'm just going to go ahead and read it. It says, For we brought nothing into this world, and it is certain we can carry nothing out. Having food and raiment, let us be otherwise content. But those who would be rich fall into temptation and snare and into many foolish and hurtful lusts, which drown men in destruction and perdition. Verse 10 says, For the love of money is the root of all evil. While some have covered, uh, conveyed after it, they have erred from the faith and pierced themselves with many sorrows. And uh, it comes down to just, you know, like idolization and, and where your treasure is, where what you're going to seek after. We come into the world alone and we leave alone. And that's what uh, verse 7 is saying. We can't take anything into the world or out of the world. We can't take anything out of the world when we leave. So why would we put all our time investments into stuff here this world when we die? We can't take any of it with with us. When we come into the world alone, if we put everything into the world and put it stuff into materialistic items, when we die we lose everything. But if we come into the world and we get to know the one who created us, repent of our sins, call upon them his name, build a relationship with him and get to know him, when we die we leave with everything. Um Verse 8 says they had food and raiment, so it's like food and shelter, and they were content, and really that's all we need. For the Lord Jesus provides. God knows what we need. He provides everything that we need, and as long as um, you're seeing here, they had food and they had shelter, and that's all they need. Because, you know, like the scripture right before it says, why why put all this your energy and time and money into things and materialistic items of this world when you die? You can't take any of it with you. But as long as God's going to provide you for everything you need and what you need is shelter and food and, and he's going to take care of you. <clears throat> Instead, you try and put your treasure and seek us after the treasure that is not of this world of heavenly stuff. Because remember, the Lord Jesus said, don't store your treasures here on earth where thieves can get to it and moss can get to it and destroy it. Instead, store your treasures in heaven and build your treasures up in heaven where there are no moths and there are no thieves. So that building of of putting your treasures in heaven is knowing the creator knowing what your life means it has purpose value meaning that you're you're loved completely through christ god god so loved the world that he gave his son for us so that we can now know him if we just give in to him repent of our sins call upon his name we now have eternal life we have everything that's that's the joy that's the treasure of life so when you die and you know god you have everything um, so verse 9 says, those who would be rich fall into temptation. So being the love of money is the root of all evil and being rich causes a lot of temptation. You know the saying where a lot of uh, a lot of money comes a lot of problems? I guess there's a song I think too. That, uh, yeah, Biggie Smalls did a song, More Money, More Problems. Well, it's absolutely true. The more money that comes, the more problems you seek. And uh, the more temptation is, the more money that starts coming in, the more you start to like that and you start following the lust and the things of this world and you start to follow money instead of following the true God. And we know the saying, money changes people. I think we can all agree to that. Money surely does change people. But, but for the love of money is the root of all evil. So money itself is not the root of all evil, but it's the love of money. It's idolizing it. It's, it's materialistic. It's, it's chasing after the things of this world instead of chasing out after God and knowing the true life, the true value, uh, having the everlasting light, chasing after the true treasure, which is uh, your life hidden through him. Uh, and it says, while some have conveyed after it, they have erred from the faith, pierced themselves with many sorrows. So, you know that money doesn't bring happiness, it doesn't bring joy. If chasing the love of money is the root of all evil, you're bringing sorrow upon yourself, or you're choosing to chase after the materialistic items, the thing of this world, and you're making it an idol. And there's, um, I'll find the exact scripture because I'm not going to take anything out of context. Yeah, Matthew nineteen twenty four says that Jesus said again, I tell you, it is easier for a camel to go through the eye of an eagle, 
than for someone who is rich to enter the kingdom of God, and it's just because of the the rich it's it's, it's idolizing. You're you're stacking up money. You're you're focusing on things of this world and putting all your effort, your time into things of this world and into temptation instead of giving your money and and really showing love to others. It's all because uh, it's it's basic. It's a love around. It's based around the love of money, being a lot of people who are rich and so into rich. You see a lot of people nowadays, there's a lot of famous people, celebrities, they're rich and they love it. They're, they're sewn into their own money. If they, but when they die, they can't take any of it with you. And we can go on it all day. You can pick out any celebrity, 50 Cent, Cardi B, Nicki Minaj. They all said they had all the money in the world, everything, and they still feel miserable. It's because it doesn't satisfy the soul. It's the root of evil. They love money. They chase after it. So we need to be looking as that as an example. They said it themselves because money cannot buy you happiness. It's, it's deeper than that. It's spiritual. You put your treasure and you focus uh, on the true treasure, the true light, which is Jesus Christ, the one who came into the world, who showed us the light, who showed us the true value and meaning and purpose is to follow God and, and how to do so. So we need to be chasing after him, the true treasure of heaven, which is him in our life that's hidden in him and uh, nothing in this world because everything in this world can be destroyed and we can't take any of it with you. But as long as you have the Lord Jesus Christ, you have everything. And when you leave, you leave with everything.